Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Subway Sandwich Squishy. I did the first step off camera, but basically what I did was I got a rectangular piece of sponge that was around 6 inches. And then I just started cutting the edges to create this domed shape at the top. And if I turn this to the back side, you can see that there is a line or kind of like a dent going through the back. And that's to show the two separate bread pieces. And on the side, you want to make it look like Pac-Man. So afterwards, you just cut out the entire inside of Pac-Man's mouth. Now, I had a hard time cutting this out with scissors, so don't do what I did over here. And to make your life easier, you can use an X-Acto knife and just start cutting it like that. And then you could use scissors to cut out the middle part right there. Here is how it should look so far. This is just the bread part. Next, you need to cut out five thinly sliced circles, and not all of mine are circles, they're like very jagged, but it doesn't matter because you are going to be folding them, so it will just add variation to the turkey slices. So you don't need to really spend too much time on them, just make sure that they are as thin as you can get them to be. You also need three more circle slices for the tomatoes, and they should be slightly smaller than the turkey slices. Again, it'll be better to have a perfect circle, but I'm lazy, so I just did kind of like rough cuts with them. I also cut out half circles for the cucumbers. Only half of it will show anyway, so you don't need to cut out a whole circle. And lastly, for my toppings, I made olives, but you guys can add more stuff if you guys want to. Now this is my favorite part, which is assembling the sandwich. It might be easier to paint all the individual pieces first and then glue them in, but I'm going to glue them in first. I'm just using puffy paint that I bought from Michaels. This is also called three-dimensional fabric paint. I don't suggest you use glue because it will harden and that won't be good for your squishy because you want it to be soft. First, I'm adding the tomatoes. Also, don't be fooled by the amount of paint I used in this video. You want to add more paint than that to secure your foam or they're just going to fall out when you squish them. Now I'm inserting the turkey slices and for this I used the circular pieces and I folded every one of them in half. For the lettuce, I'm using my scrap pieces of foam from when I cut out the actual squishy or I guess the leftovers. So you just want to glue that in between the tomatoes like this. And then I just started painting the entire thing with puffy paint, but I didn't record the whole process. And this part I guess is optional, but I forgot to texture the bread. So I made some indentations. I made three indentations on the top part. Now I'm mixing different colors to make a tannish color because I don't have a tan color. So I'm mixing white, yellow, orange, and brown. So here's my tan paint and I did end up going in with a second coat of paint that was a bit lighter than the color you see right now. To make the bread more realistic, I shaded it in with a darker shade of brown and for final touches, I used yellow paint as cheese or mustard. And just like that, we're done with our squishy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you're not part of the notification squad already, be sure to hit the bell icon down below so you can get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!